last night I was taking a bath and I thought I'd, you know, read a few things, a couple of web pages, maybe watch some YouTube videos, had my earbuds in, had my tablet, and then I was getting out of the bath and I forgot to take my earbuds out. I had the tablet on the side of the bath, earbuds tugged on it, bloop, bloop, bloop. I took it apart right away. I could hear fizzing in there, you know, with the battery connected, a little bit of electrochemistry going on, making things break. Well, I busted a few things as I was taking it apart, actually, because you do that when you're in a hurry, but... These little clips, you have to lift these things up, and then you can get the stuff out. Because if you, if you do it any other way, the plastic clip breaks. So I got one of those broken. Now I'm going to try putting it all together and see if I actually saved the darn thing. I have to figure out what I could do with that plastic clip. I wasn't paying close attention when I took it apart, though. But I think all these screws are pretty much the same. Well, let's see if I just killed 500 bucks. Look at all these little guys. They've all got the Phillips heads. But the only screwdrivers I could find, my little jeweler screwdrivers, they're all flatheads. Which is odd. Because I know, I know there was some Phillips in the set. Look at that. All flat. And then you get the circuit board screwed down. And you realise this should be underneath this. And then you unscrew everything again. One of the really annoying things about these modern tiny gadgets is how much is just held together with glue. This whole um, lithium ion battery here, um, it's all held down with adhesive and I don't want to pry it off because you don't want to nick it or crack it and turn it into you know, a bomb or anything. And then the whole section where the screen is attached. It's all attached with adhesives and the screen is so delicate you can't actually pry it off without it cracking. Or at least that's what I presume would happen. And I've already got a crack in my screen. Ah, oh, all these little ribbon cables. Some of them you can get on when the board is unscrewed and some of them you have to wait till it's screwed. Look at this thing. This, uh, this I fixed once already, twice already, twice already. You see that? It's a surface mount uh, socket for uh, 3.5 millimeter jack. And surface mount can't take a lot of tension or, or stress. And so, you know, you wiggle the jack cable or it gets bumped somehow and the pads snap off. So I had to... Well, you can't see it because I've got a wire in there. Yeah, maybe if you had a microscope. I had to go in and then wire it down with little extensions of wire so it wouldn't snap again. And then hot glue. If they just used like a through hole or... or just put the thing in a better place, that would be good. Let's see. Where am I? Oh yeah. Heat sink, little blob of thermal blob. That's got to go on the processor there. There's a the little guy that does all the work in here. That's the ribbon connector I busted. The stupidest little board, it's only got three switches, the only one of which I really care about, which is the, vol uh, the on off button. <laughs> and it's got to be connected by that giant ribbon. And I broke it, so I'll have to see if I can wedge it somehow. There you go. Put that together with some yellow tape, and then jammed some cardboard in there. That should hold it. <laughs> Probably. If it even works anymore. Come on, I dropped it in the tub. This is desperate measures. Sort of approaching a moment of truth now. I plug the power back in. Reconnect this battery. No exploding. 
Look at that. It's alive. Now I gotta put the rest of the case back together. Just getting this bezel back on, but I have to be careful. I broke the screen. I put it in the trunk of my car. I closed the lid of the trunk of my car. I thought, hey, it'll be safe in there, and I opened it up and it was busted. I don't know whether I squeezed it between some things that were in my trunk or anyway. I just epoxied it, kept that bit together so that the shards don't drop out, and the rest of it. It's got a few big cracks, but the touchscreen works, and I figured this way, no one's going to steal it. But this is very thin. The touchscreen is very thin, so getting the bezel back on is always a little bit scary. Don't want to snap more of my screen. Wow. Seems to be working. Odd thing is though, which does make me a little bit nervous, is I don't seem to have any parts left over. Which means I've probably lost something. Yeah. But so long as it works, what the heck. Strange thing is, I never actually really liked this tablet. Um, I always preferred my netbook. But the netbook, the battery died. But mostly, what I don't like what I really don't like is losing 500 bucks. Whew. Glad I got this going again.